Hey there beauties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Naturally Liz and on this channel, I talk about beauty content, mostly fragrances. And in today's video, you guys, I am going to be sharing with you what is on my January train. So if you guys are interested in hearing what I have, or you just wanna hang out with moi, then keep on watching. Before we get into the video, guys, whether you are new or you're returning, thank you so much for stopping by. I always appreciate you guys. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up, and sharing my content because sharing is caring. I always start my videos off with an affirmation or something positive. And today I have, it does not matter what other people say or do, what matters is how I choose to react and what I choose to believe about myself. I absolutely love that. Now on to the so video. So you guys, I'm trying the fragrance tray again, the monthly fragrance tray. Like last year in the fall, I did a fall fragrance tray, but I wanna try the monthly fragrance tray again because I wanna start shopping my stash. I watched Denise did Adore here on YouTube and she did this video about how we are not wearing our perfumes and shopping our stash. And she is absolutely right. So I heard you, Denise, and I am going to do better. And I have already started actually wearing some of my fragrances that I haven't worn in a long, long time. And I will update you guys on some of those fragrances later. But this is the tray and a lot of this stuff, some of it is new and some of it is stuff that I just haven't worn in a while. And we're going to start with one that I picked up after watching her video. And y'all, it is damaged. Can y'all see? Can you see that? I dropped it. Thank God it didn't break. But this is Philosophy's uh, Fresh Cream and Warm Cashmere. And I have fallen in love with this fragrance. And do you know, you guys, this smells like devotion to me. I, I absolutely, if I close my eyes, and smell the two in the dry down of Devotion, they smell so similar. It just doesn't have the um, the orange blossom and the lemon, but they smell very, very similar to my nose. I love how this smells, it's very affordable. And I've had this for a few years, and so you guys can see how dark the juice is. I've also started using the body wash again, you guys, because I have that in a lotion, and this is a whole vibe. I forgot how good this is. Oh my gosh, very affordable. This will be worn a lot in January. I've already been wearing it. So next, you guys, we have K Alley, and I have three that I want to wear. Starting with my scent of the day. If you saw my last video, yes, we're still in the same clothes. Still the same scent of the day. This is K. Alley's Young Pistachio and Burning Cherry. Love Fest Burning Cherry. I plan on wearing these in the month of January. I plan on layering this with a few things. And this is just good by itself. But I also want to layer this with Cherry Ambition and see how that does. Did I see somebody else talk about layering these together? Was it AI? I don't know, that could be. Maybe I didn't make it up. Maybe it was like in my subconscious, but in either case, we will be layering those. And these two together, you guys, if you didn't see my last video, pair these if you have them together. If you have them, they are a whole vibe. And then we are going to be wearing Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli 64. And this one, oh my gosh, I can smell the rum through the itemizer. This, oh, I forgot how good this is. This is so amazing. If you're new to my channel, you didn't hear the story of when I first purchased this, I brought the travel size and fell in love with it. And then I purchased the big bottle. I went to Atlanta, took the travel size with me, Wore it home on the plane. Didn't spray too much because I didn't want to choke everybody out. I'm sitting next to a guy on a plane and he was like, you smell so good. What is that? And I showed it to him. It was in my purse. He said, I will buy it from you. Can I buy it from you? I was like, really? He said, yes, I love to smell good. We started talking about perfume. I let him buy it. Turns out, you guys, this guy worked at the same hospital I worked at. He said something that triggered me about the West Elevator. I said, West Elevator, where do you work? 
he told me, I said, oh my gosh, I work there too. So I let him purchase this from me. He didn't have the cash on him, but he brought it to me the next day at work. This is a compliment getter. This is perfectly unisex to me. Anybody can pull this off. This is so sexy. I am really excited about wearing this. And oh my gosh, there's a mark on my bottle. Can you guys see that in all the fingerprints? I don't know what's going on with me and my bottles, but I need to be more careful. Now the next one I have for you guys is Sol Chirosa 62. I don't wear this enough. I use the oil and I have the cream, but I don't reach for the perfume a lot. And I love the pistachio in here and the sweetness in here is kind of a warm fragrance to me. It's so delicious. So this is something I will be wearing in January. Y'all, I hope I can stay committed to this tray. I'm going to do my best because I have commitment issues when it comes to my perfume. But we're going to do better. And speaking of doing better, this is M. Mika Left's Note Vene at Nectar. And I love this fragrance so much. I just got it a few months ago. I've worn it a few times and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It is a boozy vanilla fragrance like um, Vanilla Royale, but to me, this is more of a sweeter uh, fragrance. It has cognac and rum in it, you guys. And it has some citrus notes in the opening. Of course, it has vanilla. It is a very beautiful fragrance, and I'm super excited about wearing it and getting to know it better because I don't know it that well. I've worn it a few times. Mystic Sugar from Corin. Let me try it. Corretano? No, here, just look at it. I tried to do it with an Italian accent, and it didn't work out. There's the name of it. This fragrance is absolutely gorgeous. I heard about this from Sharita M here on YouTube. And when she talked about it, I knew I had to have it. I looked it up. I thought it was going to be expensive ordered, ordering this from Italy. It absolutely was not. And it came super fast. They didn't even charge for shipping. It is so gorgeous. It kind of has a tropical vibe to it. And I probably because of the pineapple and the opening, it is sweet, it's warm, it's a little spicy. Y'all, this is so, so good. I think there's some kind of almond blossom or something in here. Oh, if you can get your nose on this, get your nose on this. I wore this a lot last year and I just absolutely love it. It's so good. Zerjoff's Italica. I am worried because I don't know how much is in here. And it is a fear that I will spray this one day and nothing will come out. I love this fragrance and I love it more this year than I did last year because it's, it has had a chance to sit and it is absolutely gorgeous. Like I pick up more on the saffron and you get that sweet toffee. Like this is, it smells so good that you want to eat it, but it smells like perfume too. I love it. I think on Thanksgiving, I had layered this with um tribeca in the back and it was so good you guys oh oh i love this and i'm going to wear this in jane now this next one is one i'm still getting to know and this is Herod from parfums de marley i got this not that long ago and i wore it once and i do like it i'm trying to get more tobacco into my collection and this one is another one that is perfectly unisex. This is actually from the men's line. Most of you guys probably know that, but a woman or someone who loves feminine fragrances can totally pull this off. It has a tobacco note in it, like a dry tobacco and it's sweet. I think there's some vanilla in here and it kind of has a powdery vibe to it. And I really do like it. I want to wear it more in January. So we're going to be getting to know this one. Oh, so good. So while we're talking about tobacco, you guys, we have Silky Woods from Goldfield and Banks. And this is another one. Oh, this is so good. It's kind of on the drier side too. It has saffron. It has tobacco in here. There's something in here that's, oh, cinnamon. It's like a, a dry cinnamon powder in here. This is so, 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 so good. 
I really like this. It has vanilla in it. I want to get to uh, know this more in January, so I'll definitely be reaching for this. This is Nabras from La Tapa, and I haven't really worn this that much since I purchased it. I wanted to let it sit because when I first smelled it, I felt like it was a little overwhelming for me, and it had a little funny smell to it. It's supposed to be... Um, It smells like Eilish, but this one is not as heavy as Latafa as this one. This one is a lot stronger. And now that it's sat for a while, I can tell that it smells much better. So I want to wear this fragrance more and kind of compare it to Eilish to see which one I like better. The way that they smell, I don't feel like you need both, but um, we'll see after I wear them. Tom Ford's oh, New York. This is discontinued, but... Um, Poor film. I love this. Oh my gosh. I haven't smelled this in so long. This is so good. It is so delicious and spicy. Ginger, Kofi. Oh my gosh. Every time I go to the Indian restaurant, you guys, I ask them, do they have Kofi? And they always tell me, no, there's a place by my house. So I'm going to have to go somewhere else because I need to actually taste it. This is so good, you guys. I haven't worn this in a long time, so I do want to wear this. I think I hold on to it because I know it's discontinued. And I've moved heaven and earth trying to get this bottle. And I'm trying to hold on to it, but I do want to wear it. I don't even know how much... Okay, it's a good amount of here. I want to wear this a lot in January. Just this winter period. Narcisco Rodriguez. I, I messed that up too. Um, poor film. What is this? <laughs> it is Narcisco Rodriguez must need our roles for her. You guys, these names are too long for me sometimes. But I love the opening of this fragrance. It's the dry down that I'm not sure about. I've been letting it sit and I'm hoping that I love it more. Right now, I feel like it was overhyped and I don't get it that much. Like I get it from the opening, but the dry down, I don't get it. So I'm hoping now that it has set, it's going to work better for me. I will let you guys know how I felt about it. Uh, I have to go to work next week. And I this is one of the fragrances I know for sure I'm going to wear so I'll come back at the um, end of the month and let you guys know what I thought. Boucheron Fab Tonka. I got this this year and I have not worn it. I, I wore it once and I do like it. I had a sample of it, so I already knew how it smells. And it kind of reminds me of BDK. What is the Tonka one? I can't remember anything. Um, oh my gosh. Is it Tonka Imperial? It kind of reminds me of that, but it is a lot stronger than that. But I want to wear it and really experience it out in the cold. I was waiting for it to get a little colder because I can tell that this one is a beast mode. I uh, saw Veronica talk about it and she did say it was strong. So now that it's getting colder and the weather has gotten itself together because it was 60 degrees here in Indiana on Christmas and I literally felt like the world was coming to their end. It was so weird for me, but uh, now that it's getting colder, you guys, I'm going to wear this and see how so we goes. have three left, actually four. I'm going to wear uh, Kamra's Kawa. I just didn't put it on a tray because I want to wear this more and get to know it. And Marc Jacobs Perfect Intense. I haven't worn this in so long. And this is one of my favorite fragrances in my collection. It is strong, it is bold. It's just announcing your presence. I love the almonds in here. It is an absolutely exquisite fragrance. It has some night blooming jasmine, I think. It's kind of green. This is just so good, you guys. If you haven't tried it, I would highly recommend this fragrance. It is amazing. So we have BDK Rouge Smoking, and this is one I didn't even wear it last year, you guys. I forgot about it. This is another reason why I want to try to stay committed to the trade because I have so many fragrances and I forget about them. And this is a really good one. It kind of has that 
cherry coke vibe a little powdery almondy type of vibe not cherry coke like um what's that one tonka cola nothing like that this is more wearable for me i love it i i, I obviously don't wear it enough i've had this for a long time so maybe i'll wear this tonight before i go to bed i think i am so i'm gonna put that right there and then dolce and gabbana the only one i think when i go to work next week i'm going to wear this one as well i haven't made up my mind on everything i want to wear because i have to be careful i work in a hospital so i don't want to do too much but this one yeah we're going to wear this one i i don't even remember how this smells really it's been such a long long time since i've worn this fragrance but this one right here so those are the fragrances that i'm going to stay committed to in the month of january obviously there are other fragrances that i'm going to wear january has 31 days that was not 31 but these are definitely ones that i'm going to wear i promised myself so i will give you guys updates on those fragrances let me know what you are going to wear in january i would love to hear about it and until we meet again you guys remember how blessed and highly favored you are Stay safe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.